What is up? I'm Awana Turtle, and today we have a bit of a different opening. We are doing a Pokemon video, a blast from the not so distant past. We're going to be opening up some Celestial Storm packs. Uh, it's kind of cleaning up, kind of like where I keep a lot of product that I'm starting to open or about to open. And this was a unsealed box. And oh, what the? There's even some burning shadows. All right, so we're just going to open the Celestial Storm. Although I'm not sure how many packs there actually are because we do have one Burning Shadows in the front followed by a mix mash of Burning Shadows and Celestial Storm. So we're going to open all these Celestial Storm ones. Actually, yeah, these Burning Shadows took, totally took me off guard. So it's probably like three-fourths of a box it looks like. And yeah, I was trying to clean up uh, my area a little bit and then I saw this box I think what happened was kind of like a while back we were doing some pack battles and they were very specific I'm like or opening this many card packs from this set and this many packs from this set blah blah, blah. and so I kind of had to first I was scrounging around from like some kind of like collection boxes to to get the pack necessary but sometimes when I couldn't find them I was like, all right we're, we'll just crack this box open and get the packs that we need so as a result some boxes or many of these packs were just left over and I figured you know what let's just open these up kind of not nostalgic but it'll be kind of different uh, I don't even remember a lot of the cards looking at the boxes are, are one thing is for sure this is when that Rayquaza GX was available and I feel like when it first came out it felt so strong compared to like what a year later the thing is I've never I don't remember the last time I seen a deck a Rayquaza GX deck so very interesting kind of like the power creep and we have a Latias Prism Star which is a dreamy mist attached basic energy from a discard pile to each of your bench dragon Pokemon that actually sounds really good um, wondering actually this thing would get one shot it almost certainly but you know imagine that with I don't know, some kind of Reshiram build where you're, since you're running tag teams, they'll, your goal is that you want your opponent to have to take out two Reshiram's and that you use that to simply ramp up to get a huge knockouts, but eh, I'm not sure that's necessary. Already Naganadal, it's pretty good for that to create the engine to do, you know, close to 270, if not 270 every single turn, but pretty cool card. Sky Pillar, I've seen people use this actually, prevent all effects of opponent's attacks, including damage done to bench Pokemon. Kind of like a stadium version of Bench Protection Mew. But yeah, maybe we'll find some useful cards in here that we kind of forgot about. Oftentimes there's some uh, kind of like staples in... Oh, I think I messed up my piles. But uh, sometimes there's some staples that, to be honest, I kind of forgot what set they came in from. Uh, just because I had my playset or I had proxies or in PTCGO I just happened to have them. Or I traded from whatever and uh, but yeah, maybe we'll find some staples Hopefully we get some cool cards from the pack cards. We have Blaziken in here, Jirachi. I wonder if that's the Jirachi that gets rid of weakness for Mewtwo. So that could be useful. Fisherman, we need the full art version of you in Hidden Fates. Super Scoop Up. Well, pulling a lot of Super Scoop Ups. Love Disc, Spinarak, Torchic, Slate Call. <laughs> I remember this art. Bag On. And a Reggie Rock. So yeah, kind of a random video, but I thought it'd be fun. And uh, as always, if you guys do enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Green code card, and that means probably nothing much. Oh, actually, there's probably some. Actually, Prism Stars started, I think, in Ultra Prism. I don't remember the exact order of the releases. Spoink. Wingle, Onyx, Bagon, Wilmer. That's also a, a art that I always thought was really funny. Followed by a Medicham. <clears throat> so, Sword and Shield is right around the corner. We start to, I guess, prepare to say goodbye to the Sun and Moon era. I think I'm going to miss it, but I'm optimistic about the future you know a lot of people have asked me like what do you think about the rule changes and thinking about it more I'm positively I'm optimistic about all of them you know the removal of fairy type is kind of unfortunate but again I'm sure there's a reason for it and I'm sure it'll kind of balance out the mechanics of the game balance or like um, between types the no supporter turn one I am in favor of I feel like 
Actually, I, I wonder if we could capture data from, I don't know, maybe PTC do online or something like that, where it's like, hey, between going first and going second, what are the win rates just in general? Rare candy, not bad. Sneasel, uh, I don't like it when they borrowed art. borrow art from older sets. I don't recognize all of them, but when I do, it's always a little bit disappointing. All right, I feel like we have not gotten a single hit. I uh, don't remember how we did in the pack battle for Celestial Storm. We did do a pack battle tournament and we went pretty far. But uh, maybe maybe Celestial Storm when we open this box to get grab some packs. It looks like we grabbed like about half a box worth. Oh no, a quarter of a box. But maybe we just happened to do very well and got a lot of the hits out of that box right away. Sneasel, Clam Pearl, and another Delmise. But Sword and Shield, I am super excited about it. Um, not sure when this video will be published, but uh, yesterday, as of filming this, yesterday, during stream, we were kind of looking at the pre-release promos. Oh, this is an interesting Pokemon. And, oh man, they all look amazing. They're super strong. Maybe the Perserker is the least overwhelming one, but even that one, I feel like has some potential to kind of help create some very cool decks, kind of like metal based berserker decks, with a lot of buffing and stuff like that. So I do like the sound of that, but uh, compared to the other ones, you know, the Rillaboom, I think that's the most busted card of the set. The Frost Moth sounds amazing as well. Beast Ball, Switch, Grovile, Bellsprout, and what was the last one? Oh, the, the Chinchino with the Zorark GX ability, trade. Ooh, Tyrant, this is definitely borrowed art from the Neo Discovery, maybe? Uh, I think I watched someone open up a some Neo Era packs. I think it was Discovery. They said he was hoping to pull Tyranitar. But uh, yeah, so far this has been pretty bad. Last Chance Potion, Swallet. Underground Expedition, Beldum, Larvitar, Wellimer, Bellsprout, Chincho, Makar. Ooh, Smooth Little Makargo is a pretty cool card. Once in your turn, you may search your deck for a card, put it on top, and it kind of comboed with the Makargo GX, which I think discard the top card of your deck or something, and if it's an energy, do more damage or something like that. I think people used it for. Uh, there are certain decks, or I think it was, um, what was it? The the one that you throw out the Poké Doll and then you bounce coming back, uh, Sawbuck. Uh, but then there was a Deerling into something that allowed you to just draw a card. And Steelix, for some reason I feel like this might be reprinted art as well. But yeah, let me know what your plans are for Sword and Shields. I think for myself, I'll try to attend um, as many pre-releases as I can. They are a lot of fun. Copycat, don't see that used very often. Just because those promos are so good. Onyx, Donphan, very off-centered. And then, hey, we got our first GX, Mr. Mime of the Evens variety. This is a cool ability. I kind of wish this was used more often. For each card in your opponent's hand, place one damage counter on their active Pokemon. Kind of cool. But I wonder, like, how many decks are there that only have, for their all their attackers, they're all, like, even or odds? Let's see. It does go up to 260, so it doesn't uh, conclude the entire damage range, but it's most of it. Energy switch. Lombre, Mawile, C Dot, a Wingle, Spoink, Chincho, Onyx, a Slaycoth, and then a Grumpig. Alright, so where are those Rayquazas? I feel like the Rainbow Rare Rayquaza will just be kind of like go in this set as this was the card to pull 
as far as like the collector side of it, anytime there's a Rayquaza, I feel like there's a good amount of excitement. Not high as like Charizard, but it's up there. Tropius, Chincho, Onix, a Bagon, Bellsprout, Vampy, a Regice, Reverse, and then a Delcaddy. Uh, when you play this Pokemon Evolve, put two supporters. Hmm, that's not bad. It is a stage one, but for a double Lele effect. Oh, from your discard pile to your hand. Hmm. But I feel like every once in a while, you know, from an older set, there's a card that someone used in a deck and is like, oh, I never thought about that. And actually that synergizes perfectly. I'm not sure if any of those are in this. Again, I didn't really look at this the uh, set list before doing this opening. Swampert. Actually, I feel like I have seen Swampert in some decks. Uh, once in your turn, you may discard a card of your hand. Oh, super powered trade ability, but that is a stage two. Yeah, I think it was a Swampert deck with a triple acceleration energy. And I think at the time I was playing Fire, so I think it just kind of destroyed me. Which, when I... And I run into decks that's like, wow, I have no idea what's going on in the beginning. And then I'm just blown away, of like win or lose. Um, I just love it when it's like, oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. And it's feel, felt creative and stuff like that. So I do appreciate decks like that. Vigoroth is our reverse. And then a Registeel. Man, only one GX hit. All right, I think we got something Looked like a black border card uh, and we did have hit a prism star So my guess is that we're gonna hit a prism star right here. What's it gonna be? I don't think is lost thunder with the one with ditto hiker. Uh, we pull a lot of hikers when it comes to hidden fades full art supporters There's fishermen. We still need but we keep finding the hiker It's like the hitchhiker Jirachi wish upon a star kind of a cool idea never even seen it attempted Where they bench this is like oh or they discard it from their hands like oh yeah I wasn't prized but so unfortunately at least I'm not aware of any way to manipulate what your prize cards are to try to get that in place but kind of a cool mechanic that'd be a shocking way to suddenly lose a match where you don't think you're gonna lose because like well I'm just gonna have one prize remaining and then they get that wish upon a star wait did I think what this was if you if you took this Pokemon as a prize card, yeah, yeah, you take one more prize card. Okay, Slugma. Last chance potion. 120 from one Pokemon that has 30 HP or less remaining. Interesting. Ooh, okay, if we did get a full art shift tree GX. I don't remember what you do. It does look pretty good condition. A couple nicks towards the top. Perplex, 40 damage, confuse. Eh, this is a stage two though, because as I said, that's not bad. Extra sensory, 90. If you have the same number, of, oh, I remember the same number of cards in your hand. How are you going to do that? I guess like maybe Judge would probably be the best way to choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. Your opponent shuffles that Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck. Hmm. You know, that could be, I mean, Mewtwo decks have so many options available to them. And usually they don't include grass type, but I don't know if there's another grass type Pokemon GX that's worth getting some tax in. That sounds like a pretty cool GX ability. It's like the Lugia GX, but you can choose whatever one you want. I think Lugia is automatically the active Pokemon. How? Matang, Wismer, Shuppet, Sneasel, Wismer. Is that my second Wismer? Hustle Belt is our reverse. And then a Clay Doll. Alright, running low on packs. So kind of a one-off opening but i did hope you guys did, did enjoy the video to be honest at this point we're kind of just buying time where like yeah we could keep over being hidden fates um but uh yeah we're just waiting for a sword and shield to drop lantern okay pelper i thought it was maybe a different one bag on torchic love disc spinnerack nuzleaf and then a regirock Trying to think back, like I don't remember how 
what was going on when this set dropped. Um, I think, you know, we did purchase some boxes, but I don't even remember doing that many openings. Sky Pillar, we'll put off the side bag on. Like Rayquaza was cool, a very cool mechanic, but uh, I wonder if beyond that, this, this set, I don't remember it doing a whole lot. Okay, Fighting Energy, Torkoal, Lure Ball, we're actually put this aside, it's pretty useful in the uh, Giratina, Garchomp, Tina Chomp, uh, Weezing decks. Rainbow Energy, that's also pretty good. Larvitar, Slakecoff, Love Disc, Underground Exploration, and then another Smooth Over Macargo. Alright, looks like we got three packs remaining. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Alright, Gorbis. How does a clam clam pearl evolve into that? Nuzleaf, TV reporter, draw three cards, discard a card from your hand. If you have no cards, discard, you can't play this card. Draw three cards, then discard a card. Hmm. If it was like draw four, I think I'd like that. You know, there are certain a lot of decks where you want things to be in the discard pile. Thinking like things like Malamar or something like that. But three cards draw, discard one, probably doesn't sound like enough think Sightseer just might be better. I think that was like discard any number of cards and draw up to five. All right, so not a crazy opening, kind of underwhelming. Tate and Liza. Cacturn, Beldum, Wilmer, Spinarak, Larvitar, Slakoth, a Slate King. Lazy, as long as you're active Pokemon, your opponents have no abilities except for late. Ooh, okay, it is a stage two though. That's kind of cool. And then we got the stack attack, uh, super off centered. Oh, uh, yeah, the back is not as nearly bad as the front. Ultra Wall, I do like this. Um, I just imagine deck full of stack attackers and then use full metal wall or something like that. You do, oh, wait, this is only for Ultra Beast though. Your Ultra Beast take one, 10 less damage from your opponent's attacks. All right, last pack. Can we get something good? Let's see, usually for these boxes you kind of get like six hits and we did get three. So kind of underwhelming for opening, kind of like it seemed like three quarters of a box. I didn't exactly count, but kind of disappointed. I was hoping to get a couple more hits, but maybe we'll hit something big on this last pack. We got a Mudkip, very cute. Wismer, Trico. Trico, a lot of Tricos, or Corio. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, make a comment down below. And we have, ooh, another full arts, Bayonet. So we didn't get a hyper rare or anything. Although, you know, I feel like that happened to me every once in a while. I feel like I opened one Lost Thunderbox one time, and all I got was a single full art, and like two of them were Genesec GXs. So I was very disappointed. Bayonet, this does look pretty cool. I like the background. Shady move once in your turn. Uh, if this is your active Pokemon, you may move one damage counter from one Pokemon to another Pokemon. Doesn't say your Pokemon, but it is only once per turn. But other than that, it could be kind of cool. If, there, if you could, obviously you could do that multiple times. But, uh, alright, so we did get four hits out of like three quarters of... Actually, that seems about right at this point. Although I did wish we get a rainbow or gold card or something like that, but, uh... That's going to be it for me today, so if you did, uh, as always guys, thanks for watching, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.